Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 29th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Touchstones. All AA progress can be reckoned in terms of just two words, humility and responsibility. Our whole spiritual development can be accurately measured by our degree of adherence to these magnificent standards. Ever-deepening humility, accompanied by an ever-greater willingness to accept and act upon clear-cut obligations. These are truly our touchstones for all growth in the life of the Spirit. They hold up to us the very essence of right being and right doing. It is by them that we are enabled to find and do God's will. Bill W. Talk, 1965, as Bill sees it, page 271. Thought to Consider The solution is simple. The solution is spiritual. Acronyms Sober Staying off booze, enjoying recovery. Just for today Focus From acceptance was the answer. I can do the same thing with an AA meeting. The more I focus my mind on its defects, late start, long drunkologues, cigarette smoke, the worse the meeting becomes. But when I try to see what I can add to the meeting rather than what I can get out of it, when I focus my mind on what's good about it rather than what's wrong with it, the meeting keeps getting better and better. When I focus on what's good today, I have a good day. And when I focus on what's bad, I have a bad day. If I focus on a problem, the problem increases. If I focus on the answer, the answer increases. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 419. Daily Reflections, Our Survival. Since recovery from alcoholism is life itself to us, it is imperative that we preserve in full strength our means of survival. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 177. The honesty expressed by the members of AA in meetings has the power to open my mind. Nothing can block the flow of energy that honesty carries with it. The only obstacle to this flow of energy is inebriation. But even then, no one will find a closed door if he or she has left and chooses to return. Once he or she has received the gift of sobriety, each AA member is challenged on a daily basis to accept a program of honesty. My higher power created me for a purpose in life. I ask him to accept my honest efforts to continue on my journey in the spiritual way of life. I call on him for strength to know and seek his will. As Bill sees it, Comradeship in Peril We AAs are like the passengers of a great liner the moment after rescue from shipwreck, when camaraderie, joyousness, and democracy pervade the vessel from steerage to captain's table. Unlike the feelings of the ship's passengers, however, our joy in escape from disaster does not subside as we go our individual ways. The feeling of sharing in a common peril, relapse into alcoholism, continues to be an important element in the powerful cement which binds us of AA together. Our first woman alcoholic had been a patient of Dr. Harry T. Bouts, and he had handed her a pre-Republican manuscript copy of the big book, The first reading made her rebellious, but the second convinced her. Presently, she came to a meeting held in our living room, and from there she returned to the sanitarium carrying this classic message to a fellow patient. We aren't alone anymore. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 17. AA Comes of Age, page 18. Big Book Quote Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to Him and to your fellows. Clear away the wreckage of your past. Give freely of what you find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and you will surely meet some of us as you trudge the road of happy destiny. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, A Vision for You, page 164. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. My relationships with my children have greatly improved. Those children who saw me drunk and were ashamed... Those children who turned away in fear and even loathing have seen me sober and like me, have turned to me in confidence and trust, and have forgotten the past as best they could. 
They have given me a chance for companionship that I had completely missed. I am their father or their mother now. Not just that person that mom or dad married and God knows why. I am a part of my home now. Have I found something that I had lost? Meditation for the day. Our true measure of success in life is the measure of spiritual progress that we have revealed in our lives. Others should be able to see a demonstration of God's will in our lives. The measure of his will that those around us have seen worked out in our daily living is the measure of our true success. We can do our best to be a demonstration each day of the power of God in human lives, an example of the working out of the grace of God in the hearts of men and women. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may so live that others will see in me something of the working out of the will of God. I pray that my life may be a demonstration of what the grace of God can do. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.